Hello guys, so this afternoon I'm going to be discussing about the phytochemistry of Arborus precatorius seeds. Alright, so here they are. So when you when I say phytochemistry, what phytochemistry simply means is plant chemistry. So I'm going to discuss the plant chemistry of these seeds. Um, now the Arborus precatorius seeds has a lot of phytochemicals in it. Um, it's rich in a lot of different phytochemicals, all right? But I'm go not going to talk about all of them in this video. I'd rather put it in the cap um, caption of the video. However, there's a particular um, group of phytochemicals or a phytochemical or a mix or a um, um, when I say substance that is found in the seeds which is so important I have to discuss all right so the name of that substance is called abrig it's a protein and it is made up of five lectins abrin A to D and abrus agglutin okay so they are five and they are toxic they are what gives this seed the ability to kill human beings now our brain is very toxic so toxic that the lethal dose of our brain is one microgram per kilogram body weight so based on your body weight if you ingest what is equivalent to one uh, microgram per kilogram body weight let's say your body weight is 70 you ingest 70 microgram which is a very tiny amount it can kill you instant death okay that's why i'm discussing the abrin okay it's a protein and it's found in this seed you can see it i'm holding it now, there are a lot of people who talk about how they have used it, you know, traditionally in the past. People who have used it, who have, you know, used it internally. But the reason why they used it successfully is because the seed coat is very hard. It is so hard that it can pass through your digestive system and go out into your feces. All right, so it will not cause harm. However, if that seed was in any way cracked, once you ingest it, it can lead to death. All right, or if you, if those people who are who use it, like lots of children use it to play, they swallow it and everything, they were just lucky because if they had cracked it with their teeth would have been death so our brain is very very toxic it is one of the most toxic substances known to man and it is a potent poison it's also used for arrow poison and it's used to poison cattle if you um, get the um, the seed you crush it and dip a needle into it and use it to prick somebody or use it to prick a cow the cow will die that's how terrible it is all right so 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 this is the most important thing you need to know about abrus precatorius the seeds are very toxic do not under any circumstances ingest it now, how can you use Abrus precatorial seeds medicinally? Um, one way is to denature the protein or destroy the protein. And the most um, efficient way to do that is to heat it. So if you take these Abrus precatorial seeds and you boil it and you heat it, it renders it harmless. So you can eat can chew it and it won't do anything to you but please note that if it is raw it must never be cracked if you want to continue using it 
make sure the seed is completely whole there is no crack on the seed at all all right because this thing has killed a lot of people yes so that is um the phytochemistry the most important um phytochemistry of this plant which is the seed there are other beneficial plant chemicals in the leaf in the roots particularly glyhazine glyhazine is found in licorice okay so the roots of the abrus petatorius and the, the, the leaves they are sweet tasting just like licorice and that's because they contain glyhazine which is also found in licorice yes so interesting plants interesting uses i don't use the seeds at all i just got them for educational purposes i will never use them except if it, i'm called on to use it and before i use it i will denature the protein and that is the advice i'll give anybody who wants to use the seed 